Now, now that we do, we've already done uh, in the in representing vectors in terms of its magnitude and direction form, there is another way to express what vectors are or how express um, these vectors. So th there is the so-called component form of vectors. So let's start with that. Huh? So, so there's this thing called unit vectors or unit vectors are vectors with magnitude unity and pointing at the same direction as the coordinate axis. For example, in 2D halimbawa, you can define two unit vectors there. One that is in pointing in the X direction, which is the so-called I hat, and one that is in the Y direction, your so-called J hat. Okay, so again, I hat is the unit vector along the X direction, and J hat is the unit vector along the Y direction. Same thing in 3D, we can also define unit vectors in 3D. So, merong tinatawag, as usual, your X hat direction is your, um, the unit vector along the X direction is your I hat, the unit vector along the Y direction is your J hat, and syempre, anong kasunod ni I tsaka J, si K. So, we have K hat as the unit vector on uh, in the Z or along the Z direction. So yeah, minsan lang naman tayo gagamit ng, um, ng unit vectors in 3D. But there are some items, for example, in the exam uh, or in the in your FQ, which you, you uh, kailangan nyo yung unit vectors in 3D. Okay? Now, the point here is any vector can be represented. For example, if, if a vector is in 2D, any vector in 2D can be represented in terms of the, uh, the unit vectors i hat and j hat. Also, any unit vector, uh, any vector in 3D space can be represented by uh, unit vectors i hat, j hat, and k hat. Okay. Now, what happens is we can get now the components of a vector and express our vector in terms of the unit vector notation or uh, in terms of its unit vectors. So, so paano, paano mangyan dun? First, you project the vector onto the x and y axis, and then Next is represent the vector using the coordinate axis. Okay, paano? So for example, here, this vector A here, what, what we did here is to, uh, para kang nagbagsak ng shadow rito, ng perpendicular, and then you measure the length of this, of this one, and you get something as your AX. The AX now is the X component of the vector. Now, may arrow pa rin yan kasi formally this should be AX I hat. Because what we did here is you have an I hat here, and then, you multiply it by some ax. Okay, I'll discuss the scalar multiplication tomorrow. So for the meantime, we'll, uh, what we all, what we uh, just need to know is that ax here, ax here is the x component, and then we also project a onto y axis, and we get this length here. The length of this of this vector here is the y component of the vector, which is our y. Okay, clear ba tayo don? So, paano mo ngayon i-specify yung AX at saka AY in terms of the magnitude of A, of A vector, which is A? Okay, paano yon? So, um, paano yon? So, we will use our trigonometry, di ba? So, this is theta and AX. So, pwede kong ilipat yung AY na dito yung AY. Buti na lang, red din siya. So, AX here is what? So, from your Sokatoa, AX is the adjacent angle. So, if the length of A, if this length here is A, then what will be the length of AX? So, ano yan? Ano yan? Cosine A. If A, cosine theta. Tama. So, AX is A cosine theta. On the other hand, what about AY? AY is what? A sine, A sine theta. theta. Yes, correct. A sine theta. The assumption here is that theta is with respect to the positive X direction. And... AX and AY can be related to the magnitude of A using um, your Pythagorean theorem. And hence, our vector A vector now can be represented as, can be written as AX I hat plus AY J hat. Nayon, here's an important thing. AX and AY are scalars. The actual vector is AX I hat and AY J hat. Ang vector dyan ay ito. Pero ito ay magnitude. Okay? So kapag nagtanong halimbawa sa problem, what is the y component of this of this uh, of this uh, vector dapat walang i hat at j hat otherwise dapat isinusulat niyo is ax vector is uh, ax or let's say 5 meters i hat that's acceptable pero ang hindi acceptable ay ax equals 5 i hat this is wrong okay because you are equating a scalar and a vector just in a notation okay 
Is this clear? Is this clear? Malino ba ito? Yes. Yes. Sir. yes sir. Okay. I hope that's clear. Sige. Now, so what if the, if, if the angle is with respect to y? Halimbawa, nag-trip ako, ginawa ko, yung theta ay nandito. Ano mangyayari ngayon sa y component at sa x component? So, what will happen? What will happen? So, in that case, my ax now is what? This is, so, kanina, ang ax ay adjacent. Ngayon, ang adjacent pa ay yung ay. Therefore, what should be the x component and the y component of, of your vector a? A sine theta po yung x component. Yes, and? A cosine theta yung uh, y component. Thank you. Tama. So, for example, so in that case, AX is A sine theta and AY is A cosine theta. Pero nonetheless, the, the representation, A vector is AX i hat plus AYJ hat pa rin. Okay? Clear ba tayo dito? Is this clear? Ganyan pa rin siya. Is this clear? Okay? Clear for Questions? Okay. Now, can a component be negative? Yes. So, the magnitude can never be negative. That's important. Ang magnitude, hindi naging negative yan. Because it refers to the length of the vector. Pero the component can be negative. It, re it, it depends on your coordinate system. For example, here, in this example, the x component is negative. Because if you project this vector onto this axis, dito yung direction ng ax. And therefore, this is negative. So, and this particular example, on the other hand, parehas ng negative yung ax at saka ay. This is your ax. And this is your ax vector. And this is your ay vector. So therefore, the length of uh, the, the sign of your ax is negative. The sign there only indicates the direction of the, of the vector, uh, of the component. Not, um, not actually the magnitude of the, of the component. The magnitude, syempre positive yan. Pero yung component per se, pwedeng maging negative yan. Depende dun sa kung, uh, kung, nasaan, siya, kung nasaan yung vector. Okay? Clear ba tayo dito? Questions? Questions? Are there any questions? Okay. So, 